So on Sunday, I talked about this potentially being a very big week for crypto, and that is exactly what we're seeing play out as we speak. In fact, there was a nice bit of good news yesterday that sent ADA to the exact range that we discussed, the exact price points. Same thing with BTC. And I'll get to what that news is in just a moment. Right now, guys, ADA did breach the bottom of our opportunity box. We breached our 20-day moving average. And right now, we're fighting that point of resistance like we discussed, that 50-day moving average. Right now, not surprising that we're taking a little bit of time here. We're waiting for some more uh, information coming tomorrow. But BTC doing a similar thing, guys, fighting its 50-day uh, moving average. In fact, remember, the big focal point that BTC is trying to close above is this 20-week moving average. All right, that's right at about 61.4. So that's a level that everybody needs to pay attention to. That may be our confirmation for even a higher leg up. And what I'm really liking that I'm seeing here is this double bottom in terms of the ADA BTC chart. Again, this is where we talked about ADA rounding out before this next leg up here. And we're doing the same thing, fighting our 50 day moving average. So ADA's, ADA's at a very, very strong moment right now. And if it can get this confirmation above here, this is where again, you may have ADA breach this, fight the opportunity of, or the top of its opportunity box, this 40 cent range, all right? And what may, may make this happen is tomorrow, all right? Now, first of all, what happened that caused the market to just go into this frenzy? It was the minutes from the last FOMC meeting. And the very key thing in here was that a vast majority of the of the Federal Open Market Committee believed that if the economic data remains consistent, it would be would likely be appropriate to ease policy at the next meeting. It was kind of a confirmation of of what we were betting on anyways. And the market just soared. All right. Now, really, what I want to hear tomorrow is this confirmation from Jerome Powell. I want him to get up there and I want him to say, yep, we're liking what the data is, is uh, you know, we're liking what we're seeing from the data. And if this continues, then we're gonna lower interest rates. That's exactly what I wanna hear. That's what everybody wants to hear. We want to hear this, this better sentiment than what we've experienced. And we do not want him to play things close to the vest. Cause if he, again, you know, kind of just plays, oh yeah, you know, we're, it's gonna be dependent on the data and stuff like that. This is where, again, this nice surge that we've gone on may retrace just a little bit. Now, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice, but like I've said before here, things are starting to pick up in the market a little bit. Sentiment is getting just a little bit better. We're seeing USDT dominance drop off just a little bit. We're seeing BTC dominance kind of chop right now, getting ready to drop off as well. All the things I talked about us needing to watch this week are playing out perfectly. We got into some short liquidations, not surprising at all. I said that shorts were getting pretty heavy up here. The, the perfect snowball of events are in fact taking place. In fact, guys, right now, ADA, one of the better movers in the top 20. In fact, it was up 5.4%. I think only Chainlink and Polygon were a little bit better in the top 20. Yeah, Polygon up nine and a quarter, Chainlink up nine. But other than that, ADA up five and a half percent. Guys, this is looking really good. ADA is finally a sleeping giant that is beginning to wake up. Chang Hard Fork is contributing to this. We talked about the potential of obviously um, sell the news events when this does come. We'll have to just kind of wait and see. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, if ADA does go on like this nice rocket run and then see a little bit of retracement from there. But We'll, we'll obviously see how this all plays out, but I appreciate you guys. Pay attention tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very big day, and hopefully we get this good news confirmation that continues to send us to the upside. Have a great day. Show your love below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.